Oh, I see a blueprint. Yes, yes, and I see another thing. And can I get the blueprint? What are we gonna get inside? So campfire and campfire cooking kit blueprint found. Yes, yes, yes. We just found something else. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna go here, go like that. And just caught another fish. Just like that, easy peasy. And we've gotten Walt's bleak skin. Yes, uh, and no space in inventory, no. Can I, like, open up my... It's gone! Yo, guys, it is me, Hippisoic, and welcome back to Monk Tree. So, right now, my guy is starving, so without any further ado, I'm literally gonna go and cook a little bit of stuff I should have here. Wait, not here. So, somewhere in this chest, I should have, like, a little bit of mushrooms, a little bit of hoof fungus. I'm gonna drop that over here and probably some mushrooms. Yeah, that should be good enough. Let's cook this. Hopefully my character is not gonna die before that stuff cooks. And while it's cooking, I would just like to remind you to smash that like button on the video because the more likes we're gonna get, the sooner I'll be able to release another episode of Among Trees. Now I'm gonna put all of that goop here with me and today I have some stuff prepared. So that goop is ready. I think I'm gonna eat a little bit here. We just ate a little bit of goop. And today I have some stuff in my mind. So first things first, I wanna get back some more seeds because last time I probably did not water my plants here enough and they just died. So today I want to like try to grow something else. I want to get a little bit more food. I want to try to fish some more stuff because last time I was able to only catch one fish here. Wait, and also I want to craft another backpack because yeah, why not? I want to get a bit bigger backpack. So there's some stuff that we have to do. Lots of plans. I'm not really sure how many of them will be able to finish. So in order to craft like a bit bigger backpack, I need like what? Some sewing threads and hoof fungus, chicory and a couple of sticks. So all of that is going to be easy besides like sewing threads. Let's see what kind of things do I need to craft like those sewing threads because I I do know that I had to have like some fishing thingy. So sewing thread requires like one jute rope and one fish bone. That's it. Literally, all you need is just like one fish bone, and I have it. So we will require two extra fish bones. So while we're here at the base, why not actually craft like this one uh, sewing thread just to see how it's gonna look like and whatever? Let's craft it, baby. Boom. Let's take that thing with me and uh, speaking about fishing, I don't really know how fast and if I'll even be able to fish enough fish because last time it took me, as I said, about an hour like to catch like this one fish. It's like, it's really annoying. I'm not saying that fishing is like bad or something. I'm pretty sure I just don't know how to fish. But yeah, it still took me an hour to fish. So I'm going to save like that chicory thingy for a little bit later. And I don't even know where we're going to go now. Wait, I'm going to save my progress. Also opening up the map, there's still lots of stuff that I should explore. But if I'm not mistaken, behind my base, there has to be like one more campsite and maybe over there I'll be able to get like some sort of seeds or whatever because I do know that I stopped picking up those seeds as I didn't really know where to use them so I think that right now I'm gonna pick up those seeds I'm gonna get back to the base I'm gonna water those plants and whatever's gonna happen whatever's gonna happen with those plants because I don't think I watered them enough I watered them only once then I went to sleep and then I stayed fishing for about like probably 20 minutes or something and I forgot about those plants when I've gotten some stump moss and I'm not really sure how many items I'll get here okay so inside of the first chest we're gonna get like some steel nail uh, I mean steel wires and some nails let's take this let's destroy the box some jute rope I mean why not and it doesn't really look like I'll be able to get here any more seeds. Also, some of you who are playing the game, you told me that these bears uh, in Among Trees, they actually change their location, so I think they can even get closer to the base. I'm not really sure how much of a truth is that, but I think I'm gonna trust you because, yeah, why not? So I gotta be kind of cautious here, so because bears can lure even close to our base. And what's kind of cool thing is that developers here are releasing updates on this game, like, pretty frequently, like, once a week or something, they're gonna release, like, a small patch note or whatever, and they're usually gonna say what they've changed here, so it's kind of nice. It's not like they're releasing here major updates or whatever but it's just like little little updates little tweaks little bug fixes and my backpack is so full that i cannot even take like you know what probably i should discard like those i have a bunch of rope do i need this rope i think guys i'm gonna discard all the rope because i do have lots of rope at the base and i think you can even craft more rope so it ain't big of a deal okay so i just opened up the map and it looks like i did not explore like this side wait i don't even know where i'm going now anymore i don't have okay so that's gonna be my base so i think we gotta go here i don't think i explored this side well i'm gonna gonna go a little bit further to see if I'm exploring something new. Yes, I think I'm unlocking new stuff. So let's guys explore this side because apparently I did not explore it yet. Hopefully there will be no bears. If there is a bear, I'm just gonna crouch and that's it. We're gonna hide. And this time I'm not gonna take food for granted because in the previous episode, I was not getting enough food. I was playing till the last second and I almost broke my entire save game here. And if I broke in the save, I think I would have to restart everything. But hey, we did not have to do it. So that is nice. And there are some more mushrooms. Do I really want to go and cook them? 
them. I don't think... I don't have space for those mushrooms anyway, so I'm not even gonna bother about it. I'm gonna go a bit higher. Some more mountains. I don't know where... Okay, so I'm going down. I think I already... Yes, I definitely explored, like, that path, but I did not explore it here yet. So, hey, let's explore now this side. Even though it feels like I did not even explore there, but when I'm going, I definitely have explored this thing, as we can see by the map. So, I'm not even gonna go there. That's the cool part about the map, because I don't have to explore the same parts twice, as I already know that I did. And still, to this point, I don't know if stuff respawns here in the game. I think it feels like it respawns. You can definitely get some more food because there is no way I would keep getting here more and more food all the time going through the same locations. So honestly, who kind of knows? Probably I would think that it respawns. Okay, so I also need to start collecting like that fungus from my backpack. But again, what am I gonna get rid of? I think we're gonna get rid of like these yellow ash leaves, right? If I'll require them, we're gonna get them. Ain't a big deal, but uh, I gotta get that. We definitely gotta get that. Plus there is a mushroom here. I think I have enough steel wire at the base, so call me crazy, but I'm gonna discard like those steel wires just for some extra food. That's how hungry I am because food in this game is really important and I took it for granted in the previous episode. And as I said, I don't wanna repeat the same mistake again. Okay, so checking the map. Oh yeah, I definitely have not been here. Yeah, we're gonna continue exploring this place. I'm pretty sure Bear is gonna be somewhere really close, but again, we're gonna get that that small notification. We're gonna get like that eye in the middle of the screen that some sort of a predator is here. Some sort of a dangerous animal is here, so I don't think I should be scared. Also, there is another blueprint that I don't have. I still don't have a campfire blueprint. I don't really know where to get it, but at the same time, it's not really that important. Again, I would love to get it, obviously, but I don't think I'm gonna die if I don't have that blueprint. Okay, so again, like that small uh, house icon scared me because it was like literally in the top of the screen that I'm like, wait, bears here. So I just keep confusing those icons and that's it. Nothing really surprising knowing me and how dumb, dumb I am. Okay, some more hoof fungus. Let's take that. And I would really love to find some more of those crash sites. I don't know that I did not loot all of the crash sites yet here because there is still much more loot that I need to get and at the same time I think some stuff at the crash sites respawn as well and at, the, at some crash sites I 100% remember that I have some seeds there so. Oh wow so we can still even continue further. Look at this how much there is to explore. I think I'm just gonna continue uh, close to the wall and that's it. There are so many rabbits I cannot hunt them. If I could, would I hunt them? Maybe just one for the memes and that's it. Even though it feels bad, you know what? Hunting rabbits in the game after that incident in the long dark. For those who watched that video, you know what I'm talking about. It's really sad. Like, I don't want to hunt rabbits anymore. It's really sad. Now I am scarred for life after I snapped the neck of that rabbit. This is sad. Can we get an F in the chat? So I reached here like probably the end of the mountain and my guy is getting hungry. This is not good. Okay, so I'm gonna start turning here. Oh wow, this is seriously a huge, huge map. Wow. But at the same time now we have a tent. So technically I think I should be able to sleep here and go back to the base easily with the tent that I have. So my guy started starving. Obviously, it would be a lot better to cook some stuff. So I think we're just gonna go and eat those two simple mushrooms. Yeah, we're just gonna eat those two simple mushrooms, because why not? And look at the map. We traveled, like, literally from here like that, and we are still exploring new stuff. How I've never explored this stuff, I don't understand. I thought that I explored everything, like, really. But basically, I've still explored nothing, and I'm trying to look there in the middle of the forest. Maybe I'm gonna see some sort of a crash site or whatever where I'll be able to get some more resources, but it doesn't really look like that's the case. And I'm also interested, because in this game, you can also craft some sort of new clothes. So I'm not sure why do I need those clothes, because for those who do not know, those clothes give you, like, protection from cold, probably, right? I assume that they're gonna protect you from cold, but why do I need protection from cold. These are the questions that I need answers to. Wait, there's something there. Do I go there? Do I want to explore that place? Let's go, let's go. Even though I'm scared why that place is so goopy, goopy, whatever, super... What is going on here? Well, apparently everything is fine. Everything's okay. So I can explore this entire place, and even though it looks like there might be something over here, but there's nothing. Like, th there's just, like, a simple mountain. I don't know why there's, like, some sort of a small hole here. You cannot crawl through that. It's just a simple mountain. I think there's just a glitch in the map or something. Hopefully, I did not miss, like, a secret button that would open up a passage or something. But it's just... There was, like, literally nothing. I think I see a crate. Yes? Or that's just a stump. Maybe that's either just a stomp or maybe that's a crate. I don't know. I think I see a crate, dude. I think I see a crate. Let's destroy that steel thingy. We don't need any more steel. And more crates. Yes, we found another crash site. So let's loot it. I am so scared of these bears now. I don't know. This game went from really cool, really fun place to explore to like place with bears. Why did it have to do that? Why? Well, I'm gonna start looting this place. Maybe I'll get here some items. Well, some bolts, some nails. Are you kidding me? There are so many items that I could bring with me, but I can't. 
Well, truth to be told, I don't need here almost anything besides, as I said, like those seeds and that's it. Yeah, so we're gonna try to get the seeds and steel pipes as I still think that steel pipes are kind of important. I should have seriously left like this watering can at the base. I should have left like my fishing rod at the base. There are so many things I should have just left at the base. Well, I'm somewhat of a small brain. I got rid of my stump mask because probably I won't require it. Okay, guys, so I think it's time to sleep for us really quickly. I think I'll also need to eat like a couple of mushrooms. So let's eat those. And I think it's the time for us to place a tent. So let's take a tent on number three. Let's take like that. Boom. And I think we're going to place that tent somewhere over here. So first time ever, we're going to sleep here in the tent just to pass the time baby so let's go am i gonna freeze to death please tell me no i don't think so i don't think we should freeze to death during the night that would make no sense hey we survived so we're gonna tear down the tent we're gonna pick back the tent and there's so much food growing on around us like there are two types of mushrooms there are some berries like but i don't have space for it if i just had a bit bigger backpack my entire inventory here is full i mean with these nails uh we're gonna get rid of the nails i'm gonna start picking up the berries well at least i'm gonna remember that somewhere over here like there is like this crash site or whatever i'll be able to go back here and loot it one day but not today right now i think i'm gonna just go back to the base and at the same time i think i'll explore something else on my way because when i'll go here we go just like that i think we'll explore another huge path of stuff probably i'm just gonna encounter here another bear as well i'm almost certain about that there's no way that i'm gonna travel like for so long and i'm not gonna meet a bear like in my opinion that's just plain impossible well i think i just found one more waterfall okay so i would love to get like some more beeswax but again i don't have even a space for it so i'm not even gonna disturb those bees but i've just found one more waterfall but the point is it is a bit different waterfall than over here so there are two waterfalls now right there's still another huge place that i have not explored so this is like some sort of a weird place. Uh, I, I think I've been here. It says that I've been here. So that means I've been here. I'm going to trust the map. But again, it feels like I have never explored this place before. And I think they added here the thunder sound because you can actually hear now the thunder cracking. That's kind of cool. Whatever. I think I'm going to eat like this one mushroom because I do have some more space in my backpack. I mean, it's quite the opposite. I don't have any more space in the backpack to take any more of those mushrooms. So why not eat one to take one extra? And well, there's something destroyed over here, but I don't see any crates close to it. I don't even know what that place is. It looks like there's something crashed. Oh, I see a blueprint. Yes, yes. And I see another thing. And can I get the blueprint? What are we going to get inside? So campfire and campfire cooking kit blueprint found. Yes, yes, yes. We just found something else over here. It wasn't even that far from the base. Kind of sad that you cannot stack turnip seeds. So, hey, there's nothing else I can take with me anymore. Like, literally, I don't have space for more turnip seeds. So, it's kind of probably even pointless to go and loot this entire place. So, truth to be told now, I think I have gotten everything. I've gotten the campfire. I think we'll be able to craft, like, that campfire when I get back to the base. I mean, depending what kind of items I need with me. And it's also kind of weird, you know? In order to craft campfire, you'll have to have, like, that special campfire in your own backpack. It's not like you'll have to craft that campfire out of sticks or something. You'll have to craft that campfire and put it in your backpack. And then you have to take that campfire out of your backpack. That kind of makes no sense. But at the same time, it is what it is. And here we go. We are back at the base. Well, that was kind of a long trip. But at the same time, it was kind of short because I got to the base like really quickly. Because I assume there is the base. Yeah, this is going to be our base. During the rain, everything looks so different. And on your way back, everything looks different. So here we go. We are back at the base. So even though this place did not seem familiar... But I've been there a couple of times already. And look at this. The house is just huge. The house is seriously just massive. So, we're going to get now to the base. Boom. We're going to save now. And first things first, what I'm going to do is uh, try to plant, like, those turnip seeds, right? Uh, can I, like, plant them over here? Yes. I think we're going to plant, like, those turnip seeds. Yes. I'm going to take the turnip seeds. Uh, I'm going to take this on three. And I'm going to start watering that stuff. Here go. I watered this. I watered this. I watered this. Is that done? I think all of them are just done, so I'll just have to probably wait now, and that's it. I'll have to keep checking on them quite regularly, and don't tell me that I'm not going to be able to go back to the river or something and get some more water to this watering can. Don't tell me that I'll have to craft it again from the beginning, because that's going to be kind of stupid, but again, not going to be surprised. So one of our missions for today is done. We've gotten some turnips here, so they're going to start growing. Also, I've gotten some more food, so I think I'm going to add some sticks, and finally, I'm going to start cooking some food. Here we go. We're just going to cook a bunch of and bunch of meals. And after that, I 
don't really know. Okay, so we said that I'm gonna go fish a little bit and I still need to craft that different backpack. Yes, so... Yeah, I need to fish. Yeah, I need to extra fish just to craft that backpack. And at the same time, we need to check out what kind of blueprints do I still need to unlock or whatever. But again, first things first, we gotta cook some stuff. We gotta get that goop with me. I've gotten lots of food, so I think this food should last me for at least a little bit. Okay, so while that stuff is cooking, I think I'm gonna go quickly and check out what kind of blueprints I still need to unlock. So, tools. We have unlocked everything health. We have a med kit and here everything. So, I think officially we have unlocked every single blueprint here. So, to craft campfire, it's really easy. All I, all I just need is just for jute ropes so i think we're just gonna get them right now and we're gonna craft like that campfire because why not let's do some progress unless i don't have any rope and i'll have to go back to like some sort of that crash site to get some more rope but now nah, we have a bunch of rope i think i had like two stacks of rope just in that chest and while we're here why not save we all know how I like saves. Let's just save, because why not? We are doing literally 10 things at the same time. We are getting goop. We're crafting new blueprints and whatever. I like that. Let's cook some more beetroots. Let's do this. Let's add some more sticks. And now I cannot craft the campfire as I don't have enough sticks. Well, I have now enough. Let's craft like this campfire. That's it. Is that only campfire kit? Or is there something else? Okay, so I cannot even take it. My inventory is full. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I dropped off some stuff to my attic. Now, let's take, like, this campfire. We'll be able to set it. Very nice. I just want to see. Stack limit one. Oh, so there's stack limit. It's not, like, useless, but there's only one stack limit. Warm up during cold nights uh, on the go. Attach the campfire cooking kit to prepare meals. Uh, how do I craft the cooking kit? Okay, so campfire cooking kit. I just need one steel wire and two steel pipes. Yeah, let's get it because I want to check out everything here. Why not? Here we go. I've gotten some steel wire. And I do have some steel pipe because I did pick up those steel pipes and as I do know that's, that those steel pipes are kind of important and they're kind of rare So we're also gonna craft like now cook fire uh, campfire cooking kit. Let's craft this bad boy So now let's take like this campfire cooking kit. I think we have everything. Let's save over here and uh, Wait until nighttime. Isn't it nighttime? Okay, so it's almost nighttime Well, well we have a little bit of time I'm gonna go do that goop and I think I'm gonna cook some more beetroots because beetroots are really nice They're just literally gonna restore your entire health and look at this They already need some more water again I don't think I need to give them water like right now but I don't want to fail those beats once again, and I really hope that when I'm going to grow those beats, I'm going to get seeds again. Like, I really want to get back the seeds from the beetroots. Okay, so I'm going to take, boom, this on three, and I'm going to water my beets before I go to sleep. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, you grow, you grow, and you grow. Okay, so all of them are going to grow, and now I think it's the time to sleep again. Uh, wait until nighttime. Still cannot sleep, but it's literally... Okay, it's still not that completely dark, dark, but it's kind of dark. So here we go. Finally, we can go to sleep. All I had to do is just wait, like, for one extra minute. Now, we'll go to sleep, sleep. I'm gonna kind of sort out my inventory. Gonna drop off the things that I don't need. And I think we're gonna go to fish. And I would like to check out the campfire. I'm not really sure how long it's gonna last or whatever, so we'll see. And my guy is hungry, so we're gonna eat, like, one of those. Boom, we just restored my health. That's beautiful. So I have a cooking pot. I have some other stuff. And I think I need to water my stuff. Here we go once again, because... Uh, we slept. I mean, I don't need to water them when you sleep. Apparently, it does not work. Time kind of slows down when you're sleeping for some reason. And I think we'll be able to cook some stuff. So just to check it out, I think I'm going to take, like, let's say two berries, right? Let's take those two berries because I want to check out, like, that campfire. And at the same time, I want to check out, like, that cooking kit, right? And I'll probably require some sticks. So I'm just going to get, like, this stick. And let's say, you know what? We're going to go to fish. So while I'll be fishing close to that fishing place, I'm also going to set, like, that campfire just to see how it will work. I'm not really a huge fan of fishing here, as I said, I messed up here many, many times, but maybe this time will be better because I'm kind of better because I've caught one fish, so I kind of know what to do. But at the same time, it's been quite a while since we played this game, so I might have forgotten something, but we'll see. We'll see. So first things first, we got to set a campfire. Okay, so stack limit zero. Everything, everything is fine. It doesn't really look like I won't be able to keep doing that campfire all the time. Place and light campfire. Okay, so we're going to place that and light it up. Okay, place cooking kit. Let's place the cooking kit. And look at that. Is that not beautiful? This is so cool. Uh, pick up rig and cook food. So I'll be able to cook probably these things and cook. Wait, you don't even require any sticks? You literally don't require any sticks. And I'm going to take the rig. Uh, place cooking kit. Oh, you cannot take that back. You can't take that back. Oh, no. Why doesn't it say that there's a limit to it? Why doesn't it say that there is a limit to it? Well, but why would I know? Whatever, we're gonna go to fish. Here we go once again. I don't even know where should I throw, like, that line for the fish to start catching. Because, I, as I said, I've spent, like, an hour trying to catch fish. And most of the time, I can't even get into position where I'd even be able to start pulling that fish. I'm just gonna cast a line here. I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna wait for, like, whatever time. Nobody's gonna catch that hook. And I start again. Rinse and repeat. 
Oh, secure guy! Caught a fish! Caught a fish! Caught a fish! Okay, not too much, not too much, not too much. Gotta go like this there. Let's see if it will work. Please tell me it will work. Not like that. Oh my god! Ha! But again, it took me about five minutes just to catch one fish. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know, honestly. I get just really surprised. I wasn't even prepared to catch that fish. As I said again, it took me like... A really long time just to catch that one fish. So here guy just caught a fish. Nice, nice, nice. Gotta be a lot smoother with it. Gotta be like this. Here we go. Here we go. Now we gotta go to the other side. Just like that, baby. Go on. Please tell me I'll be able to catch it this time. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give up. Yes! Woo! We, uh, rain perch. Uh, perch fillet and fish, uh, whatever bones. Noise. Will I be able to cook it? I think we can even cook it. Yeah, we are over here. I think we can even start cooking that stuff then. So, let's go to our camp thingy pot. Let's take it on number three. Wait, what can I do it? Oh, I probably need to get rid of my fishing rod. Yeah, let's get rid of the fishing rod. Let's place the cooking pot and let's cook food. Literally, I'm just gonna cook my fish here. And it's pretty cool. I don't have to use any sticks. Most likely this campfire is not gonna last here forever. So it is probably what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna take back my rig here with me. And I'm gonna try to fish once again. So the only tip, what I can say is that you actually have to keep reeling in and hoping that you'll catch a fish. I don't know. So for example, I'm gonna throw the line. I'm gonna start reeling in. Oh, here we go. I just caught it again. I got really lucky. Usually it takes me about five minutes just to be able to get to one fish. Here we go. We're gonna go just like that. I think it's gonna switch. Here we go. As soon as it starts going down, that means it switches the position. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna go here, go like that. And just caught another fish. Just like that. Easy peasy. And we've gotten Walt's bleak skin. Yes. Uh, and no space in inventory. No. Can I like open up my... It's gone! It's gone! Okay, so that's kind of bad. If any developers are watching this right now, uh, please add a feature where we'd be able to open up our backpack and get rid of the things that we don't need. As that's what I try to do and that did not work. Okay, so I'm gonna try to eat one stuff. Uh, that's pretty much good enough, so I still need more bones, right? Because I don't have enough bones. Okay, so I also want to go and place like that cooking pot thing. Let's place the cooking pot. Is this way I'm gonna just have more space in my inventory and uh, Do I discard like this one stick? Yeah, I'm gonna discard this one stick and I'm gonna try to catch one more fish. Hopefully it will be easier. I'm gonna try to reel here go once again and it did- Oh, it worked! It worked! It worked! I said that it didn't work, but it worked. Okay, so that's awesome. Let's try to catch some more fish. Just like that, baby. Just like that. Coming closer. This way it's easier. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Do the other side. Please tell me it's not gonna escape. That's it. We just caught one more fish. Easy peasy. We're getting better. That's it. I don't think I need anything else. I just need maybe more Wald's bleak skin. Uh, well, we still have some time. Let's catch maybe one more extra fish. So I'm gonna throw that line over here and I'm gonna start reeling it in. Is that the key? That's what I have to do. I have to keep reeling it in. I just got another one. I just got another one. It never worked for me. It only started working now. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna get another fish just like that. Okay, so fishing isn't that hard. It's still fun. It's still fun. Look at this. Another fish just like that. Boom, boom. Yeah, we're still not super hungry. So I'm definitely gonna try to catch probably maybe one more fish. And then we're gonna get back to the base. So we're gonna start crafting new clothes. And we're gonna start crafting like that new backpack. Because I think we'll be able to do it just like that. We're gonna go to another side. That's it. We were able to catch one more fish and Walt's bleak skin. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. So here we campfire. Just stop working. I think I'll be able to pick up the rig. Temperature too low. And what do I do with this thing? I don't think there's anything I can do. That's it. It's just gone. Well, kind of weird that this guy cannot start like campfire just with these items somewhere outside in the world. But again, this is a bit different survival game. It's not like every game has to be the same that, hey, you can start a campfire somewhere over here. In this game, you usually have to build everything at your base at that crafting table and then you go outside and you survive so i kind of can accept that still kind of sad that you have to keep coming back to a base here to let's say craft another campfire but it is what it is so yeah i got some more food we're gonna definitely cook this but before that i need to go back to the base leave some stuff that i don't need like cooking pot this and probably a fishing rod because we're not going to be fishing now anytime soon. And I want to check on my plant and maybe my plant did not die yet. Please tell me it didn't die because if it died, I'll be very salty again. As I just left here for a couple of minutes. And if I have to keep watering every five minutes, that will be sad. Is it dead? Oh no, it's still not dead. But look at this. It would be almost dead. So that's why it didn't work last time because I totally forgot to water them. So probably now they're going to survive. That is cool. Last time I left for way longer. I stayed there entire night. So that's how my plants died. I did not water them enough. So now I will know. So I think now we can craft. Uh, okay, so there's still some more stuff that we could cook. But I need to get some rope if I'm not mistaken. I need to get some jute rope or maybe it's not. I, I think it's just rope. We got to get that jute rope to craft 
some more of those threads. Here go, I've gotten some rope. Where are my threads? I cannot see those threads. And hopefully I have enough items now to craft a bigger backpack. We've done lots of progress today. I mean, that's really cool when you set a goal for a day and it actually works out. That's cool. Okay, so let's go over here and let's craft like some of those threads. Yeah, let's craft uh, one thread, baby. Boom, that's nice. I think I still need to craft one more thread. Let's craft, baby, one extra thread. And I probably require many more of them if I require, if I want to craft uh, better clothes. But hey, we're gonna focus on that a little bit later. Right now, let's get over here and to craft a bigger backpack, I have enough. I don't have enough chicories and yeah, I just need more chicory. I don't really know where to get them. Probably they're gonna be somewhere outside. I think I ate a couple of them, so that's bad. So yeah, we're gonna get them. We're gonna go straight away for the bigger backpack because yeah, we could go probably for like the smaller backpack, but hey, we're gonna get to the bigger backpack. And straight away after that, I think we're gonna also start focusing on a bit different clothes. So we have more stamina here and other stuff. Oh, wow. What about my clothes? Oh, you get more camouflage here. So maybe bear isn't going to see you that much. Okay. And what about the my current clothes that I have here? They have zero camouflage, zero anything. So you see these clothes have nothing. But these other clothes are going to have some different stuff. So yeah, I think we'll have to go for these feather large outfit yeah we're gonna go for that lots of stuff to do but first things first we gotta get like those chicory things so i'm gonna go to sleep sleep as soon as we wake up we're gonna drink drink and then i'm gonna start wandering around and searching for flowers don't really know where to get them well here we go it's day now let's eat a little bit of this stuff boom and i've done some research on the internet and it says that you can get those chicories only in the evening i'm not really sure if that's the case i'm not really sure if that's the truth or not those might be just urban legends but hey i think i should trust that i think i should trust random comment on the internet. So just not to waste time, I chopped down here a couple of trees because again, it's gonna be really hard to find those chicories because the more I research on the internet, the more I see people having problems with those flowers and I think I'm gonna have problems with them as well. So I think we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure now and we're not only gonna go and try to like get this bigger backpack, but at the same time we're gonna focus on new clothes. So I need to get a little bit of cattails, I also need to get some more skin and lots of and lots of beeswax with stomp moss. And I don't kind of need anything else. But at the same time, I don't want to leave my plants here. They're almost done. They're almost done. Like a little bit left. Well, I'll probably chop down a couple of extra trees. And I'm going to see how those turnips grew up. And it's kind of sad. You know what? Those plants are going to start growing. But you have to stay here to keep watering them. Because growing food should mean that, hey, you can actually go somewhere else while food is growing. But here... You actually have to keep looking at those plants. You're not going to be able to leave your base for probably longer than a day. That's kind of sad. So I can't wait anymore. I'm just literally looking now at these turnips growing. Literally just looking at the plant growing. That's crazy. How they even grow like that? It, that's illegal. Mother nature is literally there like, bro, that's legal. You can't look at growing stuff. So there's only literally tiny bit left. And I think it's going to grow now any second. That's it. They've grown. There was no sound that they're done. Whatever. I'm going to take like this one turnip. Another turnip and another turnip and turnip seeds. Oh, yeah, you do get turnip seeds and I got three turnips. I've gotten three turnips and I can craft three extra turnips now. That's kind of cool. I mean, they're going to stay here basically forever, right? Uh, so, well, I'm going to try to grow them here. Go once again. I'm going to plant those over here and I'm going to water them. Boom, boom. I'm not really sure how often you have to water them. But I assume you have to water them pretty frequently. Well, hopefully by the evening and whatever, we're going to get back home. Well, that's it. Without any further ado, we're going to start traveling. So I think I'm going to go this side because maybe we'll be able to find some chicories over there, even though I doubt it. But at the same time, I also need to find some cattails. I did not take a tent with me because I don't think I'll be sleeping anywhere outside. Probably I should be. Okay, so there is... A bees thingy. I need it. I need it. We're gonna destroy that because I think I need like eight beeswax or something just for one I think those uh, bees are gonna be gone, right? Yeah, here we go. Bees are gone. And yeah, I need like eight of those beeswaxes just to craft like some sort of clothes. But maybe actually I should have brought with me like that tent, but I did not bring that tent with me. So I don't know. Probably small brain. Okay, so those cattails should be somewhere here, right? But I don't see here a single cattail. I do know they were here before. I shouldn't have probably eaten those cattails because there were a couple of cattails. I've eaten them and I think they disappeared and maybe they don't even spawn again. I don't know. Well, I went around this river and I have not found a single cattail. So maybe they're going to be somewhere up there close to that river. So yeah, probably that's where I'll go. And now it's evening. Okay, so maybe now these chicories are going to spawn because at least that's one comment that I've seen on the internet. Maybe that's the secret to those chicories. I have no idea. Yes, here we go. One of them. Chicory, my inventory is full. Just shut up. 
up. We don't care about that inventory. Let's go. So maybe they do spawn only in the evening. I don't know. So maybe that comment was actually right. Or maybe I just missed that flower before. Again, if only I knew. You know what? When you're starting this game now again, when you'll start it, you'll actually know which ones, uh, which items are important, which items are rare or whatever. So you'll know that, hey, chicories are really rare. So don't eat them. Don't delete them. Same with cattails. Well, I found at least a couple of these Dutch bone stems. So I think I'm going to take them because with them, I'll be able to craft at least a bit different backpack if I can't craft this backpack today. Here we go. I just found one more stump moss and one more chicory. So I think I need one more extra and that's it. But I got to go back to the base. I should have probably brought a tent with me. I should have brought a tent. I should have definitely done that. Deer was close to my base. I kind of got scared, but at the same time, bro, that's a deer. Oh, wow. It scared me. Well, I don't see any more chicories here. So I think we'll go to sleep sleep. Well, here we go. We're going to go to sleep sleep. I don't even know which day, which day is it. Like somewhere... Oh, 19th day. I thought it's somewhere like 20th day. And uh, I think my plants are dead. Yeah, I definitely think that plant is dead now. That for sure, for sure. That plant is dead. Well, let's take it now. I'm going to take it on three and let's try to water it. I'm coming with a watering can if they're not dead. If they're not dead. Oh, they're not dead. They're not dead yet. Nice. So you can actually go and travel for about a day. They're not going to die. So hey, that's cool. Probably last time I traveled for way longer than a day. I probably forgot about those plants completely. Let's be honest here. Well, I need only one more chicory, so I think I'm gonna just roam around. Maybe I'll be able to find it. So I've been traveling here now for, again, a couple of minutes, and maybe people were actually right, and you can only find those chicory things during the evening or during the night or whatever. Or maybe you can just find them easier because, you know, during the night they're shining and you can see them better. Or maybe no, maybe yes, I don't know. Because so far I still haven't seen a single chicory or whatever you pronounce that stuff. Oh no, I just found another one. So, okay, so that was actually a lie. Maybe I think that was just an urban myth. Probably just during the night they're shining a little bit more and you can find them more easily. So now I just gotta get back to my base safely. And we'll be able to craft like that huge, huge backpack. And I think that's pretty much it. The only other thing that there will be left for us is to craft new clothes. But again, I don't have any of those cattails and I don't know where to get them. Maybe we have to go to some sort of a different river. I mean, different lake. Maybe even they're going to grow clo close to the river. But yeah, I think last time I found them somewhere close to the lake. So yeah, probably we'll have to go to another lake. Maybe I'll be able to find those cattails there, but if no, then I don't know where we'll go because I was stupid enough and I ate those cattails. I had a couple of them, I ate them, and I have none. And what I want to mention is that I really love that sprinting here in this game lasts for so long, and apparently with different clothes, your sprinting will be able to last even longer. But here it already lasts for quite a bit of time. I can run without, like, worrying... And wait, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen those shrubs close to my base. I think these shrubs just grew. I don't think these shrubs were close to my base. Nah, I don't think so. I think I would have definitely seen them, unless I was blind. Probably I was blind. Well, that's it. We're back at the base. I'm gonna save now. And again, I gotta take care of my plants because my plants might just die. I think I watered them like literally not that long ago. But you know what? I'm not gonna give up on my plants. Here go. Let's take that watering can and let's water my turnips just a little bit. Bloop. A little bit. Bloop. And a little bit. Bloop. That's nice. And now I think I will require to get a couple of sticks if I'm not mistaken, right? Let's take those. Okay, I'm gonna have enough chicories for sure now. Here go. I have four of them and I'm just gonna go over here and... I'm gonna set like this new backpack here we go let's know the items i have enough chicories i have enough sewing threads and hoof fungus i just don't have probably enough sticks or maybe i do have enough sticks bro i have 15 sticks i did not expect that chances are that we are gonna have enough sticks but i doubt it well i need to chop down like literally only one extra tree and that's it i thought it's gonna take another like probably five minutes or something just of me chopping down trees but hey it was really quick so let's chop down this one tree and that's it we're gonna be able to craft like that backpack and also another really weird thing is that i don't get it when we go over here there are a bunch of other slots like what will i be able to have like three four five backpacks like what can i have like those six backpacks just as it tells me otherwise i don't get it why there are so many slots maybe in the future they're planning to add something else maybe that's why we have more slots there but right now i don't get it because i don't think my guy will be able to have like more clothes or more, or more backpacks maybe we'll be able like you know to switch those clothes while we were walking maybe we'll even be able to switch like those backpacks while we were walking Maybe yes, maybe no. In any case, who cares? So I have three sewing threads. Where are they? Okay, so they're not over here. Probably those sewing threads are going to be somewhere on the top. Uh, three sewing threads. Let's take those. So what else do I need? Just hoof fungus. And that hoof fungus is... Okay, so I just seen hoof fungus over here. Let's take those two hoof fungus eye. Hoof fungus eye. And that's it. Let's now craft my big, big backpack. Sew item. Sewing and baby... Boom, a placeholder. Oh, so, so far they don't even have a new icon for the backpack. Okay, let's take this new backpack. And do I have more items? Uh, can I wear this one? Let's wear it. So, let's open up my... 
thingy. Oh, so it becomes bigger and that's it. So I can just go back and wear this backpack. But uh, yeah, it just becomes smaller. So it's not like I have more backpacks. So probably same thing is going to be with clothes. That's why they're all of them are saying placeholder because they don't have a new icon yet for them. Okay. That's understandable. So I crafted this backpack. We can even craft another backpack. But what's the point, right? I mean, we have the biggest backpack and we can craft like here different clothes and we'll be able to switch between those clothes. It's not that hard. We could even craft like a bit different clothes here. But these other clothes give us so much speed and so much camouflage. So I want to get those different clothes. So hey, we still have probably enough content here for one more episode. But probably next episode is going to be last episode. And we'll have to wait for more updates because we're going to explore here everything. So yeah. And it's a really cool game. As I said already many times, really cool, really pretty game. Can't wait for more updates and can't wait until it's gonna release fully because right now it's like, what, in only in early access alpha or whatever. So I highly suggest you checking out my Green Hell Let's Play or click on the second card and you'll go to my The Long Dark Let's Play or hop over to my channel, go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yup.